Christian from Berlin and now it's my video for Blues in F so that now in the future you can answer to play it in F. Jeff, you can say, yes, I can, let's go, let's go. To get you through your first gig in F and to show all your friends how good you are in any key, let's start. Let's start with the center of it all on the F blues scale. Is the, put your finger on the thumb on the F and then you put your second finger on the A flat and then the third finger on the B flat. Then you put your first finger, we use it again on the B natural. Then we use the C on the second finger, then the third on the E flat. And then it goes on like this until we end and want to go back on the fourth. That's always the last finger. And then we go back and here yes, you see already it's a three finger affair. We do three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. It always makes sense to, to figure out the strength of each key for blues piano playing. And this is one, because you can play the F scale quite fast with a relatively little technique with the three finger, three finger, the three raptor fingers. You see, the black keys are virtually stretching their necks out to be caressed tenderly by our fingers. Here, da, da, da. and the next one is already here, wanting to kiss us, and there. So the F scale is a three finger scale. Don't tell any classical teacher. So we have now tonic, subdominant, dominant, and tonic again. So we have to uh, do a li little bit faster steps in this tutorial because we have to cover some area. Now, what is special in the left hand? We can play all the stuff we used to play, um, like what we, we play in F also. Our little tricky friend is called B flat here. You have to figure out the fifth of B flat for your left hand patterns. And this is the B flat chord with a seven. It's here. And of course, you had a would be the subdominant and of course the C7 you know anyway from the C tutorials and so we have these um, F7, B7 and C7 chords and some hands in the left hand are a bit trickier on B flat. So watch out which hand you're taking if I'm playing this one and put it on, on B flat. You know this is a little bit more awkward you might want to take your fourth finger. You can take your fourth finger anyway also in this one. It's a matter of your taste. I just started as an early child with two and a half years with a third finger and so I just kept it. So, but this is, I found always a bit harder to play on the, on the B flat, so practice that especially. Now let's have a look at these central elements. Uh, with which you can fight your way through a blues and F and shine like a star. Um, of course, the, um, the most powerful or one of the most powerful is the drone lick, um, which we do in F now. We have the F7 chord and we have the fifth finger here. And uh, now we go with all the, these fingers, we go all up all the blue scale notes. But each blue scale note is hit together with a drone. That's why it's called a drone. It's droning with the other fingers, like now here. Now, attention, the thumb goes here. And here. And see, they were all just the blue scale notes. Thumb, again, attention here, third finger. We need the third finger, I'll tell you why in a second. And back. Because then we can do a little dirty stuff. And we all like dirty stuff. This one. So then we have the two fingers here, spare, for these two notes. And we need want this one on the third 
one here so that we can play. Actually, the, the drone lick already can get you through so low if you're good, but I give you more. Okay, now we have the, the blue scale note, a blue scale, and the drone. Let's see just with those two elements, uh, one little line. Okay, okay, good start. Now let's see for our favorite little thirds. The favorite thirds are always we're in F7 and so important in blues, so important. It's from the major triad of F. It's the right half of the triad. It's the A and the C. And then this one. Many amateurs always tend to do this one. But in fact, it's horrible. So, and for, of course, from, from these thirds come all the money shots you are um, so greedy after, like... Uh, no? We use the... Very often we use this from the... Five of F, which is the C. Ba -de -bum 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 or and let me go on and slow. Very often we change the finger setting here so that we can have more fingers left to do things like this. Yeah, but in general, it's these. Or, if we dissolve these as two beats, you know, make this two instead of one. Also show you on the subdominant because they also sound nice there. And then we have, of course, the B flat chord is this one. We have this third and this third. Both together it would be. what I just played. It was the drone lick on the subdominant. Just almost the same as on F, except we don't do the blue scale notes, just do what I do, don't ask. Asking never leads to anything good. So, and, and B. Setting down. So. Already very nice sounds. In fact, we can already play a nice solo with these um, elements. Now, if you're playing a bit faster blues and you want to impress the girls in the crowd, um, 
maybe your girlfriend stayed at home and um oh that's nasty christian you don't do that you don't recommend that but we have of course then the uh, eternal firepower of this i don't almost don't have to show it to you but i will like we have of course an f and hitting away on the five this is the flat five it's one of the only flat fives that we cannot slide in C. The flat five is here. Keep that in mind. Like, because we want that sound. Here. It's the thirds again. Remember? Great sound. on the dominant always great to come from the dominant uh, from the octave dominant we are on C7 C here we give it a bit more meat with the 5 sounds a bit harsher and then we go to C7 C to the 7 and now I'll show you a great thing you must know in all blues to tie from the subdominant back to the tonic in the end. And that goes like. Now. Let's have a look at that. We come again from C. B now and one. same time because my second name is generosity it's the and formula and a great turnaround formula we can use it to go back to the dominant and start the next chorus or we can Via G flat, and put a bit of a six in here. That sounds more expensive, and you, maybe you get the money up. And to the F7 again with the six here, or you can just do the classical and so on. Okay, once again, that then we finish that is C, and then always play this. important stuff here and because I'm such a nice guy I show you uh, one chain that is nice to play and I show it in slow because here alone on its own So in this last part, um, I will play a little um, blues in F. I will change the left hand sometimes, so you learn also new left hands. And uh, you might watch out for the rest that you don't know and play. Sometimes I will try to explain it briefly. Okay, let's just play. Left 
10 will change. These are the sixths, they sound always nice. And up, going down from here. Nice, and you hear that very often blues. You come from the tonic, and now to the seven of the dominant. which is also a nice turnaround, we come from F, going to D7 from F, chromatically E7, E flat 7, and now we are D7. of a major blues scale and minor blues scale. Major blues scale. And minor blues scale. You never know when to play. It's a matter of experience. You will find that out. There's no recipe. And we can do that again. Thanks for watching, thanks for learning. Subscribe please. It's a pleasure to learn with you. Bye bye from Berlin. Now played in F, Jeff. I hope you liked my video and that you learned something. And now you can subscribe. Just press this subscribe button or click on another of my videos on this side. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.